I'm here with Dan McPhillips, and he's with Captiva Spine. Spine. And tell us about the advantage to the doctor and the patient with your technology. So this is the Watchtower navigation system. Watchtower is unique. It will use a, a, a 2D registration method to get you a 3D navigation. So what, what that means is that in an ASC environment, uh, you do not need to purchase uh, an interoperative CT scanner uh, in order to be able to get your, your images, nor do you have to do an open exposure in order to touch the spine or photographically uh, take a picture of the spine in order to register. So it, it economically, it, it solves the problem of, of not buying a CT scanner, and procedurally, it solves the problem of, of being able to still do percutaneous procedures. So it's faster? It is faster, and it is cheaper. And it is smaller. And it is smaller. It is significantly smaller than anything else that's out there. And your per ideal client is a surgical group, is so, a hospital? So the ideal client would be a, a, a surgeon, an ASC, a, a community-based hospital that is trying to uh, provide a navigation system for their, for their spinal procedures but they're unwilling or unable to purchase an interoperative CT scanner. So, so that those, that's, that's a million bucks right there mm. to, to be able to get that piece of equipment. Whereas this right here, you, you, you can get into it for a, a much more reasonable price and, or finance it. And uh, who's your closest competitor in the field? I don't have a closest competitor. You're peerless? I'm peerless. No, it, uh, <laughs> uh, this technology is, is, from the navigation standpoint, um, is not greatly dissimilar from anything else that's out there on the, on the, the actual act of navigating. Where this has, its, uh, has no peer is in how it is registered into the operating room. Mm. There's not another system out there that can register, uh, uh, register a CT scan for a spine procedure without using touch registration or an interoperative CT scan. I, I think I understand the advantage. And faster to learn, how do you do training? Uh, how do you do training? The, the technology is actually very simple. It's an image recognition software. So what you do when you are ready to, to, to start the case is you have your CT scan loaded, you take an AP and a lateral x-ray, and basically the operator of the system just matches the, the CT scan to the x-ray. Uh, so when they're, when they're doing that, it's, it's literally, it's a drag and drop. You drag an arrow, you, you drop it. And you, you do it uh, uh, so it corresponds on the CT scan and on the x-ray. Do you find that your sales reps can handle the training on site? Oh, any, anybody can do it. Really? Anybody can do this. This is, uh, this is a very, very simple registration method. Can you give us a little background on Captiva Spine? Like how long have you been around and, and uh, what's their origins and history? Well, Cap, uh, Captiva Spine's been around for 17 years. Uh, the, the company was started by uh, Dale Mitchell. Um, he's the, 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 the CEO and, and owner of the company uh, with, you know, kind of, kind of the uh, uh, workhorse technologies in the industry for a long, long time, cervical plating, pedicle screws, cages, uh, that type of thing. And, and Watchtower, uh, the, the navigation system, is uh, uh, a, a new entree uh, for Captiva as a company. Um, but it's, it's one of those ones that uh, uh, is going to be a requirement in the future. Everybody that's coming out of medical school, coming out of their fellowships, that type of thing now, are, are doing so uh, committed to navigation. So, you know, as, as any of these companies out here, if they're, if they're working on pedicle screws and cages and cervical plates and they're not, they're not getting into the navigation market, uh, they probably won't be here very long. Mm. So not only are you peerless, but everybody else who is not competing with you needs you. They need to. Yeah, yeah. they have to. But they're behind the eight ball now. All right, I know you've been to a lot of NASA. Like, mm -hmm. you, you've got probably 17 years of NAS experience, if not more. 35. 35. <laughs> How's it changed and how necessary is it for what you do? Uh, this technology, I mean, you can put in a pedicle screw with, an, with, an, with x-ray, with a CT, with a C-arm. 
you know, the people have been doing it for years, but the accuracy is far higher with this. The elimination of radiation in the operating room is, is, is uh, paramount. Now that the technology is here, everybody wants that. Uh, and, you know, it, it just makes it that much easier to do the procedures. And, uh, and how the, how's the meeting? How's it going? Like, well, how would you feel this is, this is for NAS? If we look over the last 35 years, um, you know, NASA's has, uh, NAS has had its its uh, up years and its down years in uh, L.A. It's a down year. It's a down year. Okay. <laughs> Thanks, Dan. <laughs> Thanks for being on the show. Uh, you can give that to your social media team. Uh, I would guess it'll be up tomorrow. Thank you.